Okay, thank you. So now listen, everybody listen carefully. James Warren is a patient. If anybody wants, you can read the letter that you wrote today. If anybody wants to read that, your letter may be good or bad. But you know, if you are good, you can really read that. Anybody wants to read? Bridgie, did you write the letter today? So, no, sir, I didn't write. Only okay, didn't narration write. part, I didn't write, sir. Narration part, okay, fine. Godfrida, did you write? Yes, I wrote. Okay, I think it's really, it will be interesting if you can read that. Simply, you can read that so that we can all hear that. Just read it. So this will be really beneficial. Okay. Everybody. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I will start from the main body. Okay. Okay, yes. I've said James Warden requires mm -hmm. appointment and further management to be done at your facility. He's currently not mm -hmm. He's he he currently notices with small swelling in the right groin and his non hypertensive patient diagnosed five years ago. Mm -hmm. All right. Then yeah. he yes. Then I said, James, J Mr. James is a non-smoker, but regularly drinks two to four glasses of wine and one to two glasses of scotch at weekends and ready to be transferred. Wait, wait a second, Godfrey, are you are reading which case notes? Are you reading uh, Mr. James? The Warren? six, yeah, or the six, what? It's six, six point, point two. Yes. James yes, Warren. 6.2. James Warren. Yes, exactly. Then, yes. Okay. Will you please read the, yes. uh, the, the opening? Uh, Second paragraph. Second paragraph. Second paragraph. Mr. James was represented on 15th June 2023 to our facility with the bilateral inguino hernia. Mm -hmm. The BP and pulse were normal. Unarysis mm -hmm. was also normal, but slightly swelling in the right groin suggested of inguino hernia. Okay. Mr. James has been recommended for surgery considering his condition. Okay. Second paragraph has ended. Mm -hmm. Then the third, third paragraph, mm -hmm. kind advice on local anesthesia prior to surgery because his choice was to go for general anesthesia mm -hmm. after, advi after advice from a mm -hmm. friend. All right. Mr. James, yes, Mr. James should do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are going into the last paragraph, the recommendation paragraph, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, but please keep, uh, keep in mind, since mm -hmm. uh, the patient is an adult, we have to use a, the last name, not James, but Warden. Oh, Mr. oh Warden. okay. All, All right. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Okindra advise him on importance mm -hmm. of local anesthesia prior to the surgery mm -hmm. because his friend was to go on mm -hmm. because his friend advised him on okay on what no no actually the friend is not important here you don't have to say whether it's, it's because of it's because of a friend or somebody you can you can avoid the friend area that's totally unnecessary okay all right because what we have to tell is the patient is insisting on this why? Because mm -hmm. one of his friends told, okay, the friend is not important here. The only thing is that the patient is in, in, uh, insisting on a particular uh, thing. That's it. Okay, then what do you write? Good. Oh. Actually, you wrote well. Next, you wrote well. okay. Mm. Okay, okay. Mr. Mr. Warden. Mm. Oh, Mr. Warden is a widower and has a habit of consuming alcohol regularly, two to four glasses of reputation. At mm -hmm. present, Mr. Warden vitals are normal with BP 140 over 80, mm -hmm. pulse 70, 70, which is regular, but there is an increase in swelling of right groin right. and small swelling in left groin. Okay. Then, yes, second last paragraph, considering Mr. Warden condition, Warden's, kindly provide Warden's a quick... Warden's condition, right? Oh, Warden's condition, yes, mm -hmm. kindly provide mm -hmm. a quick surgery to help him on pain relief and more knowledge on, on the benefit of surgery mm -hmm. and as the aesthetic suggested on him. Okay. Then last paragraph, for any information about Mr. J Mr. Warden, 
while mm. he was under our care, please mm. don't hesitate to contact me. Okay. You can avoid the word uh, hesitate. Avoid the word hesitate. Just write, please okay. contact. Please, All please right. Please contact me. Enough. Okay. And then, how did you close the letter? Like yours sincerely or faithfully? I I wrote yours faithfully. Charge me. Because you started the letter like a dear doctor or dear doctor. Okay. I started dear, with the dear doctor. Your doctor, so faithfully is fine. Okay. Okay. Faithfully. Yes, faithfully, a comma, charge nurse. Good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Godfreda, for reading the whole thing. Although there were a, a few mistakes, <laughs> but you will qualify, you'll call it, qualify for about 320 for this letter. Because one thing I noticed was you are following the diving and rising pattern very properly, very, very seriously. That is. <laughs> That is where you you have learned a lot. Okay, means uh, you just started with the was was was, and you also wrote all the had had, and then you also had a did underwent all the past tense you wrote well, and then you entered the has been and has had, has has been and has had area, then you slowly shifted to uh, the present tense, has had. These are the combination of past and present. Then you entered the uh, is and uh, can and all those present tense kind of things you entered. After this, slowly you entered the, it will be appreciated and it would be appreciated, all those things you entered. So the diving and rising pattern wise, it was fine and good, really. Uh, maybe there are mistakes, of course. Okay, anybody else, please come forward and read it so that it can be a really a benefit for everybody, please. Anybody, one more person, please. Anybody can, come on. She had mistakes. You can also have mistakes. Don't hide your mistakes. It will never improve. Come on, somebody please come forward. Who is that brave one? Sharayu? Selvarani? Sakina? Come on, come on. Suman, why are you hesitating? You can read. We can. So many you want to read? We can avoid wasting time. I didn't write. You didn't write. I didn't wrote. Okay, so many I have noticed this mistake oh. from your side. Okay. I didn't write. Right. Right. Uh, no, consciously you have to write. I didn't write. Okay. I didn't write will be the right one. Okay. Maybe actually this is a problem in the northern part of India. This is a mistake. Just like there are mistakes in the southern part of India. In the northern part also, there are such mistakes. I don't know. Somebody committed the mistake and we are all repeating the same mistake. Okay. I didn't wrote is wrong because did is already past tense. So after this, we have to write, I didn't write. I didn't understand. We never say I didn't understood. Did you go is right. Did you went is wrong. So just consciously, you have to change that. All right. Now, mm, since nobody else wants to read the one, Okay, Sneha, if you don't mind, if you are not on duty, you can read your letter because I just had a glimpse of your letter. If you can read that out, it will be really beneficial for everybody. Just read it. You can. Your letter was good. And I can also point out some of the mistakes if there are. Not here. All right. You may be, you may be smiling now. Okay. Right. No problem. You can. Okay, so we are going to write this letter now. Look at this. So I think I don't have to, sorry. I don't have to tell you more about the um, the construction of the letter because you know it very clearly. First, you have to do the marking, marking, you know, we have done that. I suppose you have done that. After that, you have to do the elimination part. I believe you have all done the elimination part also here. Then you did the launching part. Launching part, you know what is the launching part? That's all about the DADS. I hope you have all that part also. Launching means date. Okay, so this is clearly here. This is it here. Date and uh, address, dear doctor and uh, uh, Ari. All the four things are here done. That is also done here. Okay, then um, after that, we have the opening paragraph. Opening paragraph, which we use, for which we use P R P P D or P R P P T. If this is a discharge letter, then D. If it is a transfer letter, then T. If it is 
uh, transfer following discharge, then that also will be different one. Can somebody tell me what is this uh, style? B or T? Are you transferring the patient or are you discharging the patient? In this letter. B. B. The patient is just coming here for uh, to the general practice just for the what do you say? Mm, uh, here, yeah, regular checkup. He is not admitted here, I think. Is there any mention that he got admitted here? Yeah, probably he was admitted because look at this date. Had a problem lifting heavy wheelbarrow, uh, wheelbarrow while gardening. Today, okay, see today. Has a regular dull ache in right groin. Noticed swelling has increased. Has reduced alcohol intake as suggested, okay? And BP is a bit high, although pulse is regular. Marked increase in swelling in right groin and a small swelling in the left groin, okay? Good, that means the patient is not in a, in a condition to be discharged. So, although you cannot see that the patient got admitted today, one thing is very sure, the patient, see, look at this one, look at this scenario. Um, this was a scenario here, and uh, surgery repair was recommended by general surgeon, Dr. Howard. And then there was a plan. See, look at this date, please. Everybody looking, looking at this, this date, you can feel that. Patient wants to avoid surgery, advised to avoid any heavy lifting and review BP and hernia in three months. Actually, this fellow, uh, Mr. Warden, he was asked by the same hospital to review in three months, but he didn't come. He didn't come. And see, look at this date, 17th, 10th. And this one is 6th, and this is 10th. So how many days passed? Can somebody tell me 15 to uh, 10th? Is it uh, how many months? June. It was June 15th. Mm -hmm. Four months. four months. Almost, almost yeah, four months. months. Almost four months. Okay. He has exceeded. And this man, this man who has got an aversion to surgery and other things, he's uh, frightened about this. So what he did, he did not come to the hospital for review. But then something brought him here because there was an accidental, I mean, uh, something happened today. And so he came here. He was lifting heavy wheelbarrow. Very careless man. He was lifting heavy wheelbarrow when he was supposed to be... Uh, coming to the hospital. He didn't come to the hospital. Almost one month he continued without, and he also did not follow the instructions given by the doctors. He was even lifting a heavy wheelbarrow. So this happened, and so he came to the hospital. So now the hospital is not going to let him go. The hospital is going to do the surgery, and he has already agreed to do the surgery now. He has got only one, uh, one condition, please, please, uh, I want. Uh, um, he wants local anesthetic. Uh, he will have less after effects than with the general anesthetic. Okay, that is his only condition. Finally, the, the fellow agreed uh, to undergo the surgery. See, this much is done, but we cannot say that his surgery is scheduled. Actually, the patient has just agreed to undergo the surgery. So his surgery is not scheduled. So, how will you write this letter? See, there are two dates here. Let me just solve this problem first of all. 15th June and 17th October. October, November, December. Okay, that's it. October and okay. So, he's coming here. My question is, which one will you start this letter from? Will you write? Will you start from 15th or will you start from this date? Which one is the safer one? This is a very important question. Yeah? 17th. Yeah. Some people are uh, in favor of this one. And then after yeah. writing this, will you go back to this? Will you go back to the 15th date? Sir, it is related to 17th. No, sir. Yeah, so, correct. Will you write 15th. Exactly. Exactly. So, I agree with you. It is double right, sir? Uh, it is a uh, like, uh, no, no, it will be a v, uh, v format. We don't have to go to the uh, past medical history because we actually, are writing. Actually, yeah. uh, he was here at the clinic on 15th. Only he met the general surgeon on 15th. 
Yeah, he is actually, yeah, we are writing to Dr. Howard, uh, who is a general surgeon and in the same hospital, uh, but in a different department. So this is a kind of a known case. So look at this one, surgery repair was recommended by whom? The same Dr. Howard was the one who recommended. Now you are writing this letter also to the same Dr. Howard. Where is he? Dr. Glenn Howard. Yeah, same person. So this means a lot of information about the patient is known to Dr. Howard. So you don't have to tell the whole thing. So, you, but still you can start the letter from here using as you already know, as you already know, comma. Okay, here give some glimpses about his uh, visit on 15th and all those things happened because we cannot expect the doctor to remember the entire details about a single person. You have to remind. So that's the reason, as you already know, will be used for the second paragraph study. Okay, and just remind him, just remind him a few things and uh, he missed this and he came today. So with your permission, I'm going to start this letter from this point onwards. So this point or this date, only 20% of this is required. Which part? This part is only 20% is, is required here. You can remove. Whereas this date, whatever happened on this date is not known to Dr. Howard. Maybe Dr. Howard also may be there, but still he's a surgeon. Remember, he's, he's a surgeon. Okay, so, um, this area will be almost 100% of this area will be uh, written here, included here. So you have to start this letter from this date, although this is a past medical history. Why are we starting from here? Because this date is connected to 17. What is the connection? Yes, the review is the connection here. All right, okay, so only 20% is required for this. And you are supposed to write the whole thing will be in the past tense. See, look at this one, all of you, please look at this one. The whole thing will be in the past tense. We have to convert. Now, in this one, in the past, once is there, once. Once, everybody knows it is a present tense. But you have to convert this into wanted. He wanted, he wanted a uh, regular checkup. Uh, okay, regular checkup. Okay. Uh, will be there. And then this sentence will also change to not least a small uh, during which during which during which not least small, okay, not least small swelling in the see, in the right groin. All of you please understand this special class is given to you because I have recently noticed that the quality of your letter has gone down because your batch is not as serious as the previous batch. Every time it is like this, every time. Usually some members will be very active, but unfortunately we don't have a very active member this time. I was expecting some of you would be like, okay, Godfrey is there. Uh, others, okay, Mary is also there. I really, okay, Sakina, these days she is very silent, I don't know. You have to be, you know, very, very, very active in the class. I was expecting Priji will be always uh, talking and talking, okay. Maybe she doesn't talk because um, I am never giving any chance for anybody to speak, okay? So I want this class to be more active when you people start speaking and talking and arguing and shouting at me and everything. So let, let's make this class very active, okay? So she wants regular checkup. So this will become, she, uh, sorry, he wanted, okay, regular checkup. Okay, okay, I can now show you, uh, as you already know, see, look at this one. Mr. Warden, Mr. Warden, Mr. Sorry, Warden, Warden visited on. Try to change these dates like this one on 15th June, June 2023. Uh, for, see, for regular checkup during which noticed small swelling in the right groin. See, during which what was noticed? What was noticed? A small swelling. Okay, a small swelling in the right groin. See, now we have to use the noticed one will be coming here. Was noticed. Was noticed. See, you will never get this kind of a class anywhere in the world because 
we are going so deeper and uh, in front of you i am writing it here okay uh, check up during which oh uh, see a small swelling in the right groin was noticed okay for regular checkup for irregular checkup hypertension here you can see hypertension diagnosed um okay so this information cannot be included here we are keeping it for another area non smoker regularly drinks uh, okay this also cannot be used here what is the reason we are now writing only the medical part now medical part let's complete the medical part although hypertension is also medical part this area will be kept somewhere else current condition current medication is somewhere here this also will be uh, kept for the future okay all these things now we have to take the objective part here objective part will be taken here i'm going to take it these two things i'm going to take from here look at this we are writing only the medical part right now okay medical part listen everybody please listen fatima please meet your mic okay now it was uh, bp was okay his bp was right blood pressure Blood pressure. Blood pressure was and pulse was regular. Right, you can write this way. Um, okay. See, the problem is if you are going to write the whole thing. This will be unnecessary because we are writing to the uh, to a known person, so it is not really important to in, uh, write all of them. Like he had a, all all his vital parameters were normal, is also fine. Okay, cardiovascular and respiratory examination um, normal. Slight swelling in right groin. Okay, now I'm going to show you another way of writing. Urine urinalysis was normal. This is a positive thing, right? This is a positive thing. Whereas Slight uh, swelling in the right groin, suggestive of inguinal hernia is there. This is a negative thing. Look at this one, all of you. This is something negative, whereas this parameter is a positive parameter. So when you have a positive and a negative parameter, you can use this one. Although, although his urinalysis, okay, urinalysis was normal, comma. Okay, he had slight swelling in, 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 don't forget the, okay? OET will never help you, right? In the right growing, uh, suggestive of inguinal hernia. All right, so we have got one more sentence here. Although this sentence is not done. Okay, we will think about this later. That's that later on. Surgery repair was recommended by general surgeon, Dr. Howard. See, this is very dangerous one because we are writing this letter to the same Dr. Howard. Okay. Okay. For which? For which? For which? Um, for which? Uh, look at this. Surgery repair was recommended. We don't have to mention because definitely Dr. Howard will remember this by that time. We don't have to say by whom it is. Even if it is mentioned, then you don't have to mention because that is not important here. Okay. So going to the next area. Um, okay. Look at this one. Advised reduction was recommended. He was also, look at this, he was also uh, advised, advised the reduction of alcohol to two glasses. Uh, just don't have to mention this uh, exact date. Reduction of alcohol is enough. Um, alcohol, alcohol, that is enough. We don't have to mention the whole thing because I told you only 20% of that date is important here. Reduction of alcohol intake will be fine. Intake. He was uh, also advised, um, advised to reduce, reduce, reduce alcohol intake. That is also another way. All right, now patient wants to avoid surgery. Look at this one. This is present tense. This is present tense, but the date is past tense. So 
OIT will always try to confuse you, confuse you by giving present tense. You have to convert this also past tense. Okay, now, OIT will also write the word like a patient, and you are not supposed to write the word patient at all. Remember, you are not supposed to write certain words in OIT. One of them is patient. Okay, don't write the word patient. Nobody will write the, uh, the word patient. Okay. Um, okay. For which surgery or repair was recommended? He was also advised to reduce alcohol intake. Um, now, patient wanted to avoid surgery, advised to avoid any heavy... I'm going to con uh, combine all these things together. Advised to avoid any heavy lifting and review um, blood pressure and hernia in three months. All right. This we are going to keep for some other time. Okay. Now, since, since means, what's the meaning of since? Since means because, okay? Since uh, Mr. Warden, Warden wanted to avoid surgery, comma, he was advised to avoid any uh, heavy lifting, okay? Okay, or since we have used the word avoid twice or more than twice, Advice to refrain from, remember, refrain from any heavy lifting, heavy lifting, okay, heavy lifting, okay, and review, um, we can write the BP here, no problem, reason we have already used the full form of BP already earlier, so there's no issue, we can write BP, <laughs> but, but whenever you write BP for the first time, please avoid um, BP in short form. And hernia in three months. In three months. Okay. Now we are going to the next paragraph. Remember, this is a complete past paragraph. The entire paragraph is past tense. All right. So we have completed opening paragraph. Opening paragraph is already here. You know the opening paragraph was here. This is to update the health status of. I'm going to show you here. Okay, opening paragraph is here. This is to update the health status of uh, Mr. James Warden, who requires surgical repair and discussion over his choice of anesthetic prior to the surgery. Uh, he is being prepared for bilateral inguinal hernia removal. Yeah, removal. Um, okay, fine. Here, we don't have to write and is uh, ready for transfer. Nothing is very important one. If you want, there's no issue and is ready uh, ready for transfer. Transfer means what kind of transfer? From one department to another department, the patient is ready for transfer. All right, so we have completed the first paragraph and the second paragraph. How do you feel so far? Any comments, please? Anybody, come on. Shall we go on or uh, do you have any questions? Anybody? Okay, those who are not watching this class right now, you will be watching this video. So please remember, after attending around five to ten classes, you have to start your personal uh, personal training. Uh, only after minimum five classes you can start your personal training. So please understand that you have to watch the videos. Um, only then you can start the personal classes. Okay, because I have told some of you to wait for some time because our uh, writing trainers are a bit busy these days. So you continue with your uh, group classes. Once they are free, they will contact you as early as possible. Now, looking at the next one, we are entering this date. As I told you, this whole thing is supposed to be uh, uh, present tense. Why? He had a problem lifting heavy wheelbarrow while gardening. Tell me, which of these sentences can be past tense and present tense? Remember, this is 17th, 10th. That is today's date. Today's date is 17th. You can see here, today's date is 17th. So you're writing on the same date. So my question is, how much past tense is okay here? He had a problem lifting heavy wheelbarrow while gardening. Has a regular dull ache in, in the right groin. Noticed swelling has increased has reduced alcohol intake as suggested, uh, then the, B, uh, the okay assessment is there. All these things are here. My question to you, 
which of these sentences should be past tense and should, which of them should be present tense. Present tense including has been and have been. Okay, maybe today, today, that is this day. Okay, today, Mr. Warden, Mr. Warden, Warden presented, presented or represented um, after developing or after uh, yeah developing pain or presented with okay with uh, presented with pain um, while lifting a heavy wheelbarrow okay pain yeah uh, presented with pain lifting with uh, with pain lift no, no, no. Lifting a heavy wheelbarrow while gardening. Uh, now, this is very important one. Everybody look at this one. Uh, has a regular dull ache in the right groin. He also reported. See, these two sentences are past tense. Remember, he also reported ED, past tense. No doubt, past tense. Um, represented, past tense. My question is, when are we going to take off this flight? This flight is going to take off at such a point where past tense will be over and present, present tense will be started. Be presented with the pain, lifting uh, pain, pain. Today, Mr. Warden represented with, uh, with pain uh, after lifting a heavy wheelbarrow while gardening. He also reported past tense. Uh, he also reported a regular dull ache in the right groin. Notice swelling has increased. Who has noticed? Okay. Who has noticed on examination? On examination. Um, his previous, you remember the previous uh, swelling due to uh, hernia? Okay. You may remember that. Okay. His previous swelling was found to have increased. Look at this one. Remember, this is something which I told at the institute today. Whenever you find this word, see increased, remember increased and um, what was that? Elevated, elevated spelling. Look at the spelling. Whenever you use the word increased, decreased, okay, uh, decreased. With all these words, you have to write was found was found increased or decreased or elevated. So this was found is mandatory for all these three words. Don't forget. I hope you won't forget that. Okay. So look at this one. On examination, his previous swelling was found to have uh, increased. Okay. Increased. <laughs> now, there is no connection with the alcohol intake directly here. So we can keep this alcohol for some other time. Uh, has uh, reduced alcohol intake as suggested. BP was okay. And look at the earlier BP. The earlier BP was what was the BP at that time? Remember? 155. And now it is um, yeah, it is slightly better I think. Okay. So since these are not very uh, okay, this can be marked increase in swelling in right groin and and a small swelling in the left groin, bilateral inguinal hernia. So we have to add all these things. Advice patient uh, regarding the importance of surgery. Okay, this is all about the management time uh, for which for which he was advised for which he was advised uh, regarding 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 the importance of surgery for which he uh, he was advised sorry he has been he has been advised regarding the importance of surgery please look at this all of you okay he reduced alcohol i'm going to take this alcohol thing later on let me just put it somewhere here let, let's keep the alcohol bottle here mm, okay his previous swelling was found to have increased okay marked increase in swelling 
Okay. Uh, additionally, additionally, he had he sorry he had or he has he has a marked increase in swelling in the right groin and a small swelling in the left groin or in the left both of them are right, um, which are which reconfirm reconfirm the presence of the presence of bilateral uh, inguinal hernia okay for which see the sentence has become a bit longer one for which he has been <laughs> sorry advice regarding the importance of surgery okay now look at this one i'm going to make this make more changes to this one although although mr you know that we cannot use the word patient okay although mr warden warden has agreed to undergo undergo the surgery surgery yeah comma uh, he 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 wants he wants a local anesthetic as a friend okay so here as a friend advice to him is totally not required here anesthetic okay Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Anesthetic, uh, anesthetic, anesthetic as he thinks. We can just avoid the friend one thing, and uh, uh, as he thinks, he will have less after effect than with the general anesthetic. Why are we going to mention the whole thing? Because in the case notes, you can see in the plan area, we have to give advice. Explaining the patient's current condition, discuss the patient's choice of anesthetics. So it is important to mention this point here so that the surgeon can discuss this more deeply, more seriously with this background. See, now I'm taking you to the second par third paragraph here. Let's go to the third paragraph. See, look at this. As you already know, Mr. Warden visited past tense. Regular checkup during which a small swelling in the right groin was noticed. Past tense completely past tense. His blood pressure was and pulse was regular. Cardiovascular and respiratory examination or uh, examinations were also, if you want, actually this is not really important here. Cardiovascular and respiratory why i am not going to take this one very seriously because we already know that it is a hernia thing not something like a cardiovascular thing so this chance is very less so we don't have to look at that point i am removing that although his urinalysis was normal he had a slight swelling in the right groin suggestive of inguinal hernia for which surgery or repair was recommended he was also advised to reduce alcohol intake uh, this point is he was also advised to. Okay, now alcohol, which is a secondary part, I'm going to just uh, think. Okay, see, look at this one. He was also advised to reduce alcohol intake. Yeah, the position of the alcohol bottle is very accurate right now. Today, Mr. Warden represented. See, we are still in the red area. What is the meaning of red area? That is the past tense. Today, Mr. Warden represented past tense with a pain after lifting a heavy wheelbarrow while gardening. He also reported a regular dull ache in the right groin. On examination, his previous swelling was found to have increased. Additionally, yes, see up to here, past tense. Do you know how to decide where to end the past tense? It's not a big deal. He can understand this. Additionally, he has a marked increase. Why are we entering the has present tense now? Because this marked increase in swelling is still there, not in the past alone. Not in the past alone. Okay, so this is present tense. So we are entering the present tense now. A marked increase in swelling in the right groin and a small swelling in uh, in the left. In the left. Uh, which which reconfirms or confirm or reconfirms. See, this is also present tense. Did you notice this? This is a very important one. I don't know how many of you are taking it seriously. The presence of 
bilateral inguinal hernia for which he has been see has been present tense again again present tense see the rule is as per the v rule the v rule as per the v rule once you enter the once you enter the uh, the present tense you cannot go back to the past tense okay so we have completed the past sorry the past part is over now the present part is there we have to do okay so reconfirms the presence of bilateral inguinal hernia for which he has been advised regarding the importance of surgery although mr has agreed see has present tense it is present tense maybe some of you are a bit confused how can this be present tense because agreed is there right no agreed is okay it is past it is uh, it is perfect tense but when there is a has don't worry, it is a present tense only. Okay. Uh, to undergo the surgery, he wants, look at this, wants, present tense, again present tense. Present tense is here. A local anesthetic as he thinks he will have. See, we are slowly shifting to the future tense now. See, slowly we are entering the future tense. Less after effects than with a general anesthetic. But see, there's a problem. One thing you have to understand. We are now in the in the rising area. Rising area means, okay, this is the diving area. One second. This is the diving area and this is a rising area. You know that. I have told you very clearly. Diving and rising. Okay. We have completed the diving and we are in the rising area right now. This one, the green area. Okay. So in the green area, you will also find a future tense as well. This future tense also can be found in that all right, so always remember uh, when you start the second paragraph, third paragraph, fourth paragraph, you have to do the V model or W model. And you should just understand. It's a matter of just a matter of Priji. Uh, have you understood the V model and the W model clearly now? Almost, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. I think most of you have understood the V model and uh, uh, w model because you will not commit a mistake that's the reason why we are insisting on following this method completely any questions can i move on all right so we have completed the whole thing now the see we have done the medical part and the emotional part are both done now what you have to do is just complete the lifestyle like smoking and other things like, uh, where is it? We, yeah, smoker, okay? This will come in the L area. Occupation, if there is something about his job is mentioned, mention that. You can mention that. Then nutrition, his diet, his BMI, his weight loss, weight gain, exercise pattern, everything can be in the N area. Finally, if you think the social is important here, you can mention the social also here. But you know that uh, in this letter, what we need is, this is the most important one. Most important one. Emotional is nowhere. Emotional is not there. And then <laughs> lifestyle is a bit here. A bit of lifestyle is here. Occupation, no. Is there, did anybody find anything uh, related to his occupation here? His job related something? No. Nutrition, did you find something about his nutrition here? Food, habits, BMI, weight, anything? No. no. Not much, okay. Uh, not anything, I think. Okay, then social. Social is, I think it is there, but we don't have to. Like, for example, he is a widower. Widower and a widow. I hope you know the, the difference between widower and widow. Widower is a, uh, he is a male and widow is a female. Remember, don't forget that. Okay. Okay, right. So, this letter will be having mostly this one and only this one. Even social is also not required for this. Okay, so don't write these things. Don't write this one. Don't write this one. Because they are not there. Just uh, even this is also completely missing here. Just M and the L will be the main content of the whole letter. So write the whole thing here. And then we can wind up the letter like uh, for any information about uh, Mr. Uh, what's his name? Warden. While he was under our care, kindly contact me. Yours, yours, yours. What is it? We started the letter like 
or to be started a little like, dear doctor, okay, yours faithfully, and then write Charles Nurse, the letter will be over. I hope this class was really beneficial for everybody. Was it? Yes, sir. So please improve your letter quality. Yes, uh, sir. In just one day, you won't be able to make some changes, but this is the best way to write a letter. So I'm winding up the session. So tomorrow onwards, I'm planning to uh, follow that particular uh, timetable. And all those who are available, uh, please uh, stay in the class from 9.30 to 4 p.m. so that the whole day will be really beneficial. All right? See you then tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, sir. Good night as well. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. See you tomorrow.